Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Have you heard about this before? You've heard you an Israelite? You've never heard this before? All praises. Understand this is the greatest thing you're going to ever hear in your life. Understand that. That you are the greatest thing to ever walk this earth. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. You're not African American. You're not Negro. You're not Spit. Those are Gentile words that society likes to put upon us. We are the Israelites. We are God's chosen people. Understand that. Watch this. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. And yes, we're coming out the Holy Bible. The King James Version Bible, the same Bible that's in every church, that's in every courthouse, every hotel, that has, that has not been taught properly to us. Because I know you say you don't go to church, but I'm pretty sure you probably grew up in a Christian church. Your, your Bible probably took you to the church every Sunday. You there, you, uh, the Bible's there, the same pastor, the same hippity hoo bah the yelling and the screaming and the jumping over, flipping over tables. That ain't biblical. Understand this, you, we are greater than that. That's idolatry. But well, watch this. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. This is what God says about you and every black and Hispanic on this earth. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. God chose us to be a special people unto himself. Understand that. Every black, Hispanic, and Native American God chose us. He didn't choose all of the nations. He chose us to be a special people unto himself. Read on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And guess what? God chose us to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's in the Bible. Have you ever heard that before? That we were chosen to be above all people on the face of the earth. Now my question is, are we above all people on the face of the earth? Are so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are we all above all people on the face of the earth? We are? I'm being away. I'm talking about uh, economically, uh, financially, uh, are we above all people? No, as a nation we are not. Why is that though? We feel the slums and the ghettos. Why is that? You never thought, why are we always the ones at the bottom? Why does it seem like everything we try to do to try to get ahead, it seems like we can, it's nothing we can do as a nation. We constantly feel the slums and the ghettos. You ever thought about that? Well, watch this. The Bible tells you why we as a nation of people are on the bottom of society. Because God said we're supposed to be above all nations. But that's not how we live. And give me Deuteronomy 28, read verse 15. This is why, sis. Watch this, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So God commanded us that we're supposed to keep all his commandments. And are you familiar with the commandments? Have you heard the commandments? I'm pretty sure in church they told us the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. We don't. Which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said if we did not keep these commandments, all these curses will come upon the Israelites. All these curses we're about to read about. And as you see us as a nation of people, do we keep God's commandments? There's murder amongst our community. Yes or no? There's uh, uh, fornication amongst our community. Yes or no? The term baby mama and baby daddy is pre only prevalent in black and Hispanic communities. You don't hear that in Chinese. Have you ever heard a Chinese uh, man walk around talking about, yeah, that's my baby mama? No. You don't hear that. 
fornication runs rampant in our community. Homosexuality runs rampant in our community. We have broken the God, we have broken God's commandment. That's why we have been brought low. Because we're the greatest thing on this earth. That's right. Watch this. Jump down to verse 30, uh, 32. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 32. These are the curses that God said will be upon us for breaking his law. And you tell me who this happened to. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, throughout history, whose sons and daughters were given to another people? How did we get over here to America? We were given to another people. We were taken and given to another people. Have you seen 12 Years a Slave? Have you seen any, did the Django any movies dealing with slavery? When you get a chance, go watch them. Even to today, DHS, if DHS come knock on your door and take your child, is there anything you can do about it? No. Our sons and daughters were given to another people. That, they, that's what they do. They break up the family household. They separate us. That's us as a nation of people. Read on. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fell with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. That's what he's saying. There's no might in our hand to get our sons and daughters back once they're taken. There is no might. There's nothing we can do. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. We as a nation of people broke God's commandments. Like today. Today is the Sabbath day. There's supposed to be no buying, no selling, no cooking on the Lord's Sabbath day. But we decide, you know what? I'm going to make the Lord's Sabbath day Sunday. And even then, I still ain't going to keep it right. I'm still going to buy. I'm still going to sell. I'm still going to cook. I'm still going to clean. I'm going to eat this pork. I'm going to eat this catfish and this crab. And that's why we as a nation of people at the bottom. Watch this. Jump down to verse 37. Read that. Here's another curse. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Do you know what an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword means? It means your nationality will be changed. We, will, we have become a wonder. We have become a wise saying. You want to hide anything from a Negro? Put it in a book. And we have, our nationalities have been changed, like African Americans. What would you consider yourself? Your father? Black African American, right? Black, Negro, African American. Like mine as well, Black African American. Where did the term African American derive from? How are we two nations? Bring it out. Understand that. Think about it. We as a nation of people, we don't sit back and think, wait a minute, how can I be two nations at once? I am one person. African and American? No, that's a, a byword. Your nationality has been changed. Because think about it. Throughout history, when we first got here on these slave ships, they didn't call us African American. Hold this right. right. They didn't call us African American. They called us Negro. That was what on the sign. To be sold at uh, uh to be sold a cargo of 94 Negroes. They didn't say African American. African American didn't come around until Jesse Jackson, the 70s and 80s. They called us Negro colored black folks. That's what we're reading. We're reading Bible prophecy that our nationalities would be changed. We as a nation of people, we don't have a seat at the UN. We don't have our own quote unquote nation. Bring it out. Who, who, who speaks for us? America. And we call ourselves African American. Proud to be American. But yet they still, you see what's going on in the street. Understand this. Police brutality, gun, all this stuff. They, they kill us in the street and hold themselves not guilty. Right. That happens to us as a nation of people. Right. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. Now watch this. Jump down to verse 68. You with me so far? Watch this. Verse 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So another curse that he said would happen to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites, is that we will go into Egypt again, meaning slavery. Egypt is a Greek word for slavery. Did we go into slavery as a nation of people? Did slavery happen to black folks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Did that happen? How old are you? 22? Okay, so I know in the school systems now they kind of teaching that slavery wasn't, that it was a choice. No, no, no. We were brought here as slaves. During that 1600s, the 1700s, all the way back to the 1400s, even in the 1900s, we were slaves. The Jim Crow law. 
the black code. We are, even to today, we still slaves. Don't pay your water bill and see what happens. What's gonna happen if you don't pay your water bill? It's gonna get cut off. Oh, I know, it's gonna get cut off. Don't pay your rent, what's gonna happen? We slaves. We're not free in this country. We were brought here. The Bible said we were going to slavery. Watch this, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Meaning slavery, come on. Again with ships. With ships. Get the, uh, get the poster with the ships. Who is the nation of people went into slavery on slave ships? No. What did it happen to? Ooh, I hear you. It happened to us. Understand that. Go and, and don't take what I'm saying for it. Go and research yourself. Go and do your own research and you'll find that we was the only nation of people that went to slavery on slave ships. Why? Because it was Bible prophecy. God said it would happen. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. That's right. We as a nation of people decided we didn't want to keep his commandments. Like, let me get a commandment for an instance. Give me Exodus, the 20th chapter and 8th verse. Because I mentioned the Sabbath day. The day is the Lord's Sabbath day. There's not supposed to be any working, any buying, any selling on the Lord's Sabbath day. We decided we didn't want to do that. So God said, okay, I'm going to put these curses apart you. And that's why we in the slums and the ghettos. That's why wherever city you go to, primarily black folks dwell in the slums and in the ghettos. In the hoods. That's what we dwell. Why? Because we as a nation of people don't want to keep God's commandments. And that's what we got to do. If you want to make it to the kingdom of heaven, guess what you got to do? To hell with what your pastor told you. All you got to do is believe in Jesus and you'll make it. No, you got to believe in Jesus and keep the commandments. That's what we're lacking. Oh, we, we can praise the Lord faithfully. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm washing the blood of the Lamb. But we don't, but as soon as we say, sister, you're supposed to wear a dress. You're not supposed to have pants on. You're supposed to wear a dress. I, I don't know about that Bible. Or, brother, you can't eat pork. Ah, that ain't, that, ain't the, that ain't the spirit of Jesus. Yes, that is the spirit of Jesus. That is the spirit of Christ. God requires more of you, sister. Understand that. That's how much favor he shows for you. He chose you above all people on this earth. He set his, his love upon you and set us above all people. All we got to do is just do what he told us to do. Watch this. Exodus 20th chapter. Read that. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. God said remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Read. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. He says six days shall you labor and do all your work. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's six days. You can do all labor, do all your work, do all your buy buying and selling, everything you got to do to take care of. But read, verse 10. But the seventh day, but the seventh day, read, is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It's the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. We are supposed to keep the seventh day holy. It's the Sabbath. Come on. In it, thou shalt not do any work. In it, we're not supposed to do any work. Read. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy, thy man servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger, which is in, which that is within thy gates. We're supposed to keep the Sabbath day holy. But guess what happened? We decided we didn't want to do that. So God brought his curses upon us. Because you got a daughter. And think of it like this. You tell your daughter, hey, make sure you make sure you do what I tell you to do. Hey, put that cup over here, clean that up, do this. If she don't do it, what happens? If she doesn't do it, what happens? I do it. Oh, damn. You discipline her. You're supposed to discipline her. Because like, say for you, for example, if you did something wrong, you were disciplined, right? You got in trouble, right? There were consequences, consequences for your actions, correct? That ain't no different with us as a nation of people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God told us this is what you're commanded to do. This is what I require. Give me that Deuteronomy 10 and 12. This is what I require of you to do. We decided we want to do it, so guess what he did? He punished us. These are the consequences of our actions. So the only way to fix our community, the only way to fix and to get out of this captivity, out of the conditions that we're in, we gotta repent. We gotta keep God's command. We gotta keep the Sabbath day home. We gotta stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. Our sisters gotta stop wearing pants and wearing dresses. 
Brothers gotta start growing beards on their faces and taking care of their kids and their family. That's what's gotta happen. Baby mom and baby daddy just has to cease amongst our community. It has to be husbands and wives. That's what's gotta happen. And guess what? I see your, I see, I see your uh, expression. You're like, yeah, 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 okay. It's possible with this Bible church. That's right. Not the Christian church. Christian church ain't gonna, nothing's gonna change in the, in the so-called Christian church. We have to come back to the truth of this Bible system. Right. That's how everything will change. Right. That's how you really get your life right and convert in Christ. Right. And you get up out of here. Watch this. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Come on, come on. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Listen to that. He's talking to you, O Israel. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. You're not African American. Your daughter is an Israelite according to the Bible. She's the greatest thing on this earth. Watch this, read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? God, but with that being said, God requires something of us. Come on. But to fear the Lord thy God. Come on. To walk in all his ways. You're supposed to fear God and walk in all his ways. Period. For him choosing us, he gave us his commandments. And all he asks us is to fear him. You believe in God? You fear God. If you fear God, you're going to do everything you say in his body. We go. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. Come on. And to love him. And to love him, read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. And that's what we're supposed to do. Serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart with all thy soul. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.